hello guys welcome to my youtube channel please please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell beside it those of you that subscribe to this channel thank you thank you thank you so much today's tutorial is going to be on half circle skirt or 180 degree circle skirt and to make this skirt you just need to take two measurements that is your skirt waist circumference the round measurement of wherever you wear your skirt and your skirt length that is from that point that you took your round waist measurement to wherever whatever length you want your skirt it can you want your skirt it can be knee length it can be floor length it can be midi length here my skirt waist circumference is 33 and, and my skirt length, the skirt length that I want is 41. So after this measurement, the next thing that I need to do is to add 2 inches to this my skirt waist measurement. This 2 inches is for my zipper allowance. Then 33 plus 2 gives me 35. After I've added my zipper allowance, the next thing is to divide this by 3.142 and I'm doing this because I want half circle skirt. When making a half circle skirt, your waist circumference plus your zipper allowance divide it by 3.142 and whatever you get is your R, is your radius. Um, after dividing, after I divided my waist plus zipper allowance by this number, I got 11.139. And 11.139 is approximately 11.125 or 11.18 on my tape. If you don't know how to read tape measure, I have a tutorial on that already. I'll link it in the, in the description box for you to check that out. So my R is 11.125. So now that I know my R, the next thing is to add my hemming allowance to my skirt length. My skirt length is 41. My hemming allowance is just 1 inch. So 41 plus 1 is 42. Let me call this 42, my L. The next step now is my R that I got here. I will add it to this my L. So R plus L is um, 11.125 plus 42, which gives me 53.125. So all I need to do now is to take my fabric and measure out 53.125 in two places. That is, let me just approximate this to 54. So I'm going to cut out a fabric of 54 in two places. I've measured out a fabric of um, 54 in two places. It is on fold. This place is on fold, as you can see. I folded my fabric here and from here to the opening i have 54 from here from here like this to the other end i have 54 on fold i have 54 on fold so this is the width of my fabric 54 and the length is supposed to be 54, but I'm not going to put that on fold because this is a half circle skirt. But I'm using an African print here, and the length of African print is 45. It's not up to 54. So what I just did is um, I cut out an extra fabric of 11 inches. I'm going to join it to the lower part, to one part of this uh, my fabric to make it 54 so here is the 11 inches that i cut out i'm going to join it to the 45 
So I've joined the 11 inches to the 45 and now I'm having 54 on fold by 54. The width is 54 on fold by the length 54. So the next thing now is to mark my radius. This 11 inches that we got the other time as our arm. The next thing to do is to mark it out. So I'm going to mark it out from this folded corner. Where I join is down. This place I, I didn't join, the upper part, the folded corner. I'm going to mark my radius from this folded corner around. So from this folded point, I'll mark 11.5. That is 1118 round. 11.18 with my tailor's chalk. I see the arc that I marked out. That is my arc. The next thing I'm going to do is to mark out from that same folded point my R plus L that we got the other time. R plus L. That is my length of skirt plus sewing allowance and my radius 53.125. I'm going to mark it out all around to get another arc. So, with my 11.1 so here my 11.125 here i'm going to mark out 53.125 which is here so i'm marking around my skirt length plus i mean allowance and my radius after this i'm going to cut on the exact radius arc line because i want excess in which I will use as my side seam. I'm going to put pocket in this skirt. Though I'm not showing the part where I fix the pocket, but I'm going to I'm going to fix pocket. Here I folded it on bias to make the cutting easier. You can also do that. Fold it in four places on bias. You still get the same results. So now I will continue cutting. It's for me to go and join my band and then um, attach it. I'm not going to show how I end it and how I um, attach the band. There are videos on that already. You guys can do that. So I will show us how to fix zipper both on this skirt and on a full circle skirt that is a 360 degree circle skirt if you want to see how i fit zipper on a 360 degree circle skirt then you definitely have to keep on watching to the end of this video my band is nice and flat and i've also aimed my skirt here i've ironed my zipper allowance flat and um, I've even started losing it. Yes, as you can see, I'm measuring it. I will lose it down to about 9 inches before fixing my zipper. That 9 inches is around my hip line. Your zipper must get to around your hip line so that you, it will be easy for you to wear. So, on my zipper, I'm going to measure out like um, about 10 inches. I'm going to measure out about 10 inches or 10 and a half and chalk. I will now align this place that I chalked to the beginning of my band and pin down. This is the right side of my zipper and um, this is the right side of my, my fabric. I'm placing the right side of my zipper on the right side of my fabric making sure that my zipper teeth is in alignment with the iron crease the iron fold then i will pin it down so i've pinned it down as you can see here i, I pinned it from the beginning to the end the next thing is for me to go and sew close to the zipper teeth from the beginning of my band Making sure my needle does not climb the zipper teeth. I will sew it down. 
I'm finished sewing as you can see here. I've stitched the side down. I'll chuck where my band is in alignment with the zipper. I'll chuck on the zipper. I will also chuck where my band stopped on the zipper. I'll chuck on the zipper where it stopped. I'll align them to the other side of my skirt. So here I'm going to align it with the other side and pin down. I'll make sure everything is in alignment. It is very important. It will make your job to be neat and look more professional. As you can see, I'm checking to see if everything is in alignment before I, I will go ahead to stitch and everything is in alignment so I will just go and stitch my zipper down starting from the from around my hip line to my waistline so here is the zipper that I just fixed and um, as you can see the upper part is okay but the lower part i'm having a bit of excess all i have to do is to lose from where the excess start started from to where it end so i'll just lose and show us nobody is perfect we all make mistake the only thing is when you make mistake correct it here i'm just going to lose the zipper and refix it then i will show us so as you can see, I've loosed it. All I have to do is to take it in and sew again. So here is the circle skirt that I aimed in a previous video using bias. <coughs> I used black thread to do illustration in that video. I've used it and I've used white to end it here. I'm going to show how I fix the zipper on this. And um, here is the zipper that I want to use. As you can see, the zipper is long. So all I have to do is to measure out um, about 7 inches because the length of my zipper is going to be 5 to 6 inches. As you can see here, I'm chucking it. My zipper allowance. This is my zipper allowance. As you can see here. This is the right hand side. And this here is my zipper. I'll take this zipper now. I've measured from here. From here to about 7 inches. I'll take this zipper. This is the right side of my zipper. My zipper. This down is the wrong side. I'll make sure this right side is facing the right side of my fabric. The right side here of my fabric. But this side is towards my left hand side of my skirt. I'll now take the left side of my zipper and place it on that right side. So my zipper wrong to wrong, I will pin it down, making sure that this zipper tit here is on this fold that I iron. This is my crease, crease. Make sure the zipper tit is on it this way and pin it down. Please make use of your pin. I will pin it down after pinning. I will go ahead and stitch it down. Mm. So, I finished stitching this other side as you can see. So, what I did, what I will do next is to chalk. So, where yeah, my band, my band ended on the zipper, I will chalk. I've already done that, I chalked here. This is where my band ends on the zipper. Then, here. The beginning of this my band here on the zipper. I will chuck it on the zipper, which is around here. So this point that I chuck, align it with where my band started from here. 
so i'll align it like this using the crease the iron fold i'll place it on the iron fold like this look at the chalk here look at where my band end here so i'll just pin it i'll pin that down my pin is not and this other chalk i thought they also pin it down here so after pinning that i'll go ahead and pin the rest of this allowance i'll now go to my machine and so from here down to this point but i can go ahead and check on the outside if so here is it my band where this band ended i be started with this other band they are in alignment then at this waist also they are in alignment so i can go ahead and stitch my please don't sew on the zipper teeth so close to the zipper teeth but not on the zipper teeth Zip. and um, as you can see here this band they are in alignment and here also they are in alignment you just I'll reduce the length of and stitch it inside the skirt I'll, I'm trying this way then I'll stitch this, I'll bend it like this, inside, bend this inside, and stitch it down. I'll bend it inside like this, take a small stitch with my white thread on this white part, white design, on this white design of the fabric, stitch here down. I'll do the same thing for the other side, bend it inside, flip it like this, and stitch down, just small, maybe like quarter inch, I'll stitch like two times, quarter inch. Here is it, let me do the second one, 